Hello and welcome to today's Daily Dominion by Holtz. So it's Saturday, uh, yeah, full random. Looking forward and let's have a look. All right, yeah, quite some things going on. So I'll start with the pageant. So this means Renaissance is uh, somewhere in the kingdom. Uh, it's a project, so you buy it once. It stays, oh, sorry, this is... Uh, touch screen um, you buy it once and then uh, it stays in the game uh, forever and it allows you to turn one uh, coin you have left at the end of your turn at the end of your buy phase um, into a coffer so just one but it's still very useful um, yeah for for smoothing essentially between turns where you might not need all the money you generate and then you can uh, put aside one coffer uh, for usage uh, any any later turn um, or any later time it can even be in the in the same turn if you do like uh, cavalry stuff and cool so page I like it a lot because it's it's kind of non um, non invasive but it's it's useful and um, I think it's almost always worth getting that's rarely I think where I don't buy the pageant. And it's a good opener, at least in a in a uh, estate copper kingdom. Here we have the cursed gold; it's already shining um, at the bottom here. Uh, so we'll have to see. But I'll talk about that in a second. So yeah, we have cursed gold. This is because of the puka. The puka comes with the heirloom, and the heirloom is the cursed gold, which you can play to gain um, to get uh, the effect of a gold. But you also get a curse. So. Yeah, this is why it's called Curse Gold. It's, uh, I think, quite quite nice, nicely done uh, thematically. And you can't trash it with the Puka. It's the only treasure you can't trash with the Puka. They are kind of tied in unity. Um, yeah, so the rest. So we have two or five, four, because you, you have four coppers when you play with Curse Gold. So we know that there's four coppers in the next um, hand. So we could theoretically buy five and four, um, or we just do two and um, four. So yeah, we, we'll figure it out. Um, so here, uh, yeah, the, what stands out? So there is certainly Haunted Woods, which if you can't trash estates and even potentially curses that you might get with Cursed Gold, uh, Haunted Woods is a very effective attack. Uh, so, yeah, so I think we need to get Haunted Woods. Probably it's even the first five before a Puka and before any other things like Sacred Grove, um, Figurine, Tactician Mystic. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about those in a second. So I think uh, my first five, I think I want Haunted Woods. Um, and then we have the buys, we just don't have any plus action, but we can generate um, enough capacity to play actions if we play King's Courts on King's Courts. And it's a uh, 2n minus 1, so if you have two King's Courts, you can play three cards. If you have three King's Courts, you can play five cards, etc. Um, so yeah, that's how you can always easily calculate how many actions you can play. So with one King's Court, I mean, we're limited to just play one one action. It's three times, but we just play one action. Um, and with two, we can already play uh, three actions. So that's why I think we need to line up King's Court, King's Court stuff here. And the Haunted Woods, um, I think, is is then a very good target. You will lose the King's Court because it will stay in, in play, but I think getting nine cards at the beginning of your turn uh, is tremendously helpful in a kingdom like this where you can't really trash your estates. We can trash um, coppers though, or other treasure that we might want uh, with Puka. We just have to find out how and when to fit it in. I think I want to get it, but it's probably not, yeah, it's not the priority. Because uh, I think we need yeah two haunted woods first. It will slow down the opponent considerably, and then we get double king's court maybe, and then there could be a space for puka or even the sacred grove first, and then we get the puka. Yeah, we'll have to see how things line up, but that's sort of my my idea here. 
I don't think we get any mystics um, or figurines. Uh, it's just not really helping. The, the competition is too high. I mean, mystic, it would be so late that then I want, by then I would want sacred groves if I have two or three king's courts. And the figurine, I mean, the disadvantage is you draw, but you have to discard or can discard then your actions. You can't continue your turn. Uh, it's by phase uh, draw. So, um, so I don't think I want that uh, here because we have the opportunity with Haunted Woods and the Puka uh, to draw a deck without any figurine stuff. And then we fill in the actions, sorry, the buys um, through Sacred Grove. So I think you can build quite big here to triple or even quadruple province um, in, in one turn. So sort of a, bit, a mega turn. Um, yeah, now what do we do with our open 2-5? Oh, I don't I don't like it. I mean, we can't take the curse, I think. Not in a kingdom with haunted woods. <clears throat> they might not get it, but... Um, yeah, and we'll never use the tactician, I think. You can do it, but it's just not the dominant strategy here. It's sort of, yeah, it's mediocre. Um, because with an early tactician, you still, you won't be really doubling. And then you have these turns where you do nothing. Um, even the patient won't activate. Unless you take Mystic, then you could activate the patient. So tactician Mystic could be something here. Yeah, that I didn't think about. Um, so let's get back to that bigger view. Um, Tictician Mystic. Yeah, the problem is then with these Haunted Woods, um, it, it will just take a long time to set that up. Double Tictician? No, that, that won't work. I think that takes too long to set up a double Tictician deck with basically almost only Mystics and maybe a poor house or two for payload. Um, yeah, and then we would have to use the Puka to trash all our tre treasures to actually get you know benefits from the poor house. And we would need also sacred groves to benefit from the high amount of money we are generating because we need the plus buys. The tactician is just one additional buy. I mean, it would be a fun one. Um, yeah, maybe if I have time after this one, I can just try that. Because it, it would definitely be fun and very challenging to play. Um, I just don't think it's it's the, the right move here. Uh, yeah, now what do we do on the four? I have to conclude this. Is that just a patient that, that feels so bad, uh, like weak? Um, hmm. So then we would pass twice or something and then buy our haunted woods. Hmm. I I don't think I like I like the I would have preferred a three three, I think. Page and silver. Three three with the curse gold, I mean on, on either hand. Um yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm. So we could get a taxman, but it's just, it's, yeah. It's not fitting my my longer term strategy very well. And we won't get rid of it unless we can trash it to, you know, like a flames gift or something. What What is the, the boons? Okay, yeah. A gold hmm. would be big money stuff with druid, but that's also not viable, I think. No. Hmm. I mean, if you see taxman and cursed gold, turn three, then you're rolling. I think that's that. and then you get a gold rather than a figurine. I think you get the haunted woods, and then well, yeah, you can still play the taxman occasionally, and then later you can play it again. Once you have the king's courts going, um, I just uh, I don't know. Um, I don't like this open. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, we slow them down, but by how much? How much are we slowing them down?
So I'm not getting anything for the five or two, I think we just uh, press this and then let's see what they do. They just get the patient, okay, with a three. So they have four now. So I think that's an indication they are not getting the tax. Um, yeah, maybe the play here is really um, Haunted Woods. It's over now, but you know, Haunted Woods with the curse and the patient. I could imagine that to be the right play actually. Because now we are just losing so much time. Damn it. Um, this is like, uh, this is costing two turns. Um, <laughs> well, I'm not f factoring in the impact of the curse, uh, to be honest, but still it feels like costing one, two turns. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't undo it now, but yeah, I think I think that's that's the right play, actually. I just hate playing Cursed Gold in the first shuffle, before even the first shuffle. Um, I, I just hate it. Um, personally, uh, yeah, it cost me some games in the past, but I, I just don't feel, it's, it doesn't feel elegant. Um, now, yeah, I'll, I think I'll just get the patient. Okay, and the, here's the haunted woods. So they, they this is um, obviously uh, not good. I mean, a sacred grove that helps me with a boon in in ten out of twelve cases. Um, I know it's, it's only not, only nine boons, right? Because three are stuck here. Well, and it's not the three. Ah, all right, all right. So the grove is a little better than usual, or actually quite a bit. Because the field um, and what is the other one? The forest gift, yeah. Um, they are two out of nine instead of two out of twelve. But still, you you don't get a curse with it. So what what I was wrestling with was the haunted woods for a curse, but sacred grove for a curse. I uh, I can almost guarantee that that is not a good idea. And here we just get the. They're even taking a second one. Oh man, okay, you are killing yourself here. But this will be. Um, yeah, then let's let me just try to play it quickly because it's not representative anymore. I mean, if if they do this crap, um, yeah, then I can probably do whatever I want here, um, and we'll still win. But it's yeah, that's sad actually. Okay, of course we take river. That's the one that gives you the card. Yeah, six. We just get another um, haunted woods for now. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we play another, and now we start with. Um, oh, Swamp's Gift is very helpful for uh, for the King's Court. So we do, now we get the first King's Court. Mountain is silver, right? Um, we have one. Yeah, one is good enough, I think. More payload will be growth. So yeah, let's decline. I don't want that. Uh, yep. Okay, just three. Okay, this is super sad in a way. Um, ah. We can still buy the silver right now, but no, let's let's rather see that we can uh, line up the. Yeah, let's just get another. Um, that's exactly where the. Um, well, this is a bit lucky for us, um, where the patient comes in so handy. Yeah, and here we do the other king's court. I'm still not worried, even if they get four four provinces, they have three curses now. Um, as long as we can get, you know, a, a king's courted haunted woods, and then two or three groves, we are absolutely safe. I think so. We just get another to do the double double thing. Um, even though, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Let's do that first, and then the grove. You you could argue vice versa, but I still don't feel this is a very reliable um, deck with just one haunted woods um, and then all these coppers and the cursed gold. Uh, so yeah, let me get another here. It's I mean we have seven on the spot. So yeah, this is great. The winds gift that will certainly help us to uh, find our. Okay, we didn't we didn't find any of the important cards, but then this is the window I think for. 
Or is it just another king score? They just did nothing, right? Yeah, they just got their coffer. Um, yeah, that makes sense if if they oh yeah, they banked quite a few coffers. Um I mean this turn we are just um KCing the haunted woods. And then I think we want a sacred grow. Yeah. Yeah, or this is the window for the Puka. This is, uh, I don't know, could be the window for the Puka. It's now or never for the Puka. Um, because, um, yeah, we have this Wisp that will then, we, we can play the KC on, and then you have Haunted Woods and Puka for draw. Okay, it's a little bit shaky though. Um, so maybe we do that, yeah, the turn that's coming up, because this is then probably a lower value turn. We could do, but are we hitting five next turn? We are, we are not, we are not. Uh, because we, uh, yeah, we have these King's Court and Haunted Woods and the silver is, is here. So the other three cards, it's maximum three, unless we see the, the willow or something and we draw to another copper. Uh, so, hmm. A third king's call, that feels a little bit overkill. Uh, oh, I'm thinking we actually have two cases coming up. Shoot, yeah, that's that's true. Oh, yeah. So then we do the Puka, it's the highest chance we can uh, benefit. Because if we can play the Puka, well, unless we don't see a Copper <laughs> um, as the other two cards, um, it's just one card left, right? We have King's Court, King's Court. Uh, what did we discard? Holds, discards an Estate and a Copper. Okay, there's a Copper down there, six Coppers. So there's no Copper down there. Oh, that's an argument against Puka here. Because it will just, it will not do anything. Um, yeah, correct. So, yeah, so we are not getting it. Sad, but true. Um, so I think I am getting the growth now. Uh, okay, I mean, the, the, the willow is, is something we couldn't, we could, we could have hoped for, but not realistically expected to find, uh, I mean, that is, yeah, now we can do, we can play all, first the Grove, I think I prefer that. Sun is perfect here because it's just crap. Um, and then we do this, yeah. Okay, and here we get another King's Court and yeah, we King's Courted the Haunted Woods and that's what we need to do every turn now. King's Court and I think here, I, I just, I love Puka normally. Not because of how, how it or she looks, but um, it's it's just a, a, a well a nice concept. Um, I mean, we don't absolutely need it. We can we can just get another growth. I think we have the time though to to do it. The Puka will really seal our um, you know, our consistency here. The only issue is we always have to triple it. Or she, I don't know if it's an it or he or she. Um, it looks like a she. Um... Hmm. I mean, we have the willow, so I'm not really super concerned about. Uh, now let's get another growth. Super concerned about the the draw. I mean, we get nine cards. Look, and then yeah, okay, yeah. They they basically uh, one two. We have three kings cards, so that's all we are gonna play. Um. Ah, well, hold on. We can play the willow first, maybe. Let Let's think about it for a second. So there is another growth and a copper.
I mean, if we if we KC KC Willow, we can't KC both groves. So the only yeah, I think we play the Willow first, and we just hope. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, cool. Um, river, field, and moon. Okay, field. We own. We are the ones who get it. Uh, yeah. The question is, I'm, I'm not sure we are killing the uh, the cursed gold because it can still give us quite a spike. Um, how much money do we have? 15, 21, 24, 27, and there is uh, 32, and we are on turn 12. I mean, that's good. And we are casing the Haunted Woods. So we are, yeah, we're definitely on track here, but what do we trash? Do I ever play the Curse Gold? Probably in the last turn. Um, so we can we can get rid of the estate. Yeah, I just we don't need that. Yeah. Oh, wind. Ah, oh, okay. Wind is not really, really harming us. Luckily, um, the sun is discard. Yeah, we really have to be careful a bit here. Um. So twenty seven. Oh, it's actually twenty seven thirty. Oh shoot. We we win right. Yeah, now now we can't. Oh, I didn't I didn't see that the you know the count was not finished here, the tripling because we had to resolve the boons first. Uh, the game was already over. Nah, no, because we would have hit twenty five. Yeah, right. Because they also trashed the curse and things. So fine, but um, yeah, we definitely would have had four provinces if we had wanted that. Uh, so I take two. They can't double. Impossible. One, two provinces. And I think now I'm in for the Puka just to solidify the draw. Puka and another King's Court, maybe. But what is the King's Court doing? Um, well, playing the Wisp. Yeah, I think here we, we, we need the Puka now. Puka and Grove. Uh, well, no, because we can't KC, KC. Uh, we, well, we can, we can. One KC will stay out and we will get the other two back. So we can do KC, KC stuff, but we could do Puka and King's Corn or Puka and Dutchie. If we don't see the King's Corn, King's Corn, it's a little sad. So I think we need Puka and King's Corn. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's get that willow. Um, it's great. Okay, I mean, we, we killed them now. Um, this was sort of expected. Yeah, here, here we see the... Uh, yeah, yeah, we just do it right. One. We don't have to trash, so... Yeah, let's just decline the trashing. Decline, decline, because it's the last turn. Mountain, okay. River, cool. Uh, yeah, we can just discard all these. It doesn't really matter because we have all these wisps. Play an action three times. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Um, end actions. Yeah, and now I end my game without a curse, I think. I just don't want to play it. So, one, two, three. Yeah, and it wouldn't, I mean, it would be a net zero yeah okay cool um yeah that was nice oh 13 turns is good uh yeah seeing our open i think yeah what did i want to try other ah, tactician deck but this is not yeah still i'm i'm not saying um it's the the play i would recommend but i think i just want to try it so tactician we are doing tactician puka mystic Poor house and KCs. So yeah, let's see if we can if if that actually is doable. I mean, if they don't go haunted woods, it's actually well doable. But and here, what yeah, what do we do here? I think you get the tactician right away, and then on the four you get the patient. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And here, um, I, yeah, no poor house time yet. We just get the money. 
Okay, cool. Tactician play. Bang. And now we need the Puka, I think. So, yeah. Puka. Nothing. Tactician, great. It's not... I mean, it's, you can already see it's a little bit sketchy uh, to... Moon is whatever from the discard, right? Discard pile, uh, I don't remember. Uh, place three buys a sacred grove. No, that's the um, place to teach. Discards an estate, two coppers, and the cursed gold. Okay, so we, we don't need it. I mean, we can look at it. Decline, yeah, right. Okay, okay. Bang. And now I think we start with mystics. Okay. Mountain, is that silver? No, we don't want the silver. Um, okay, they're doing this. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, it's copper still. Yeah, okay. I think we're actually trashing just for now. We'll come back to the uh, tactician play. And it's in the, ah, uh, we could do a king's court, but. Oh, another mystic right now. Okay, that, that that's super shitty. Um, okay, yeah, here we play the tactician, I think. River, yeah, that's perfect. And then, yeah, I think it's not winning the. Uh, yeah, we can just do an ask for another. Yeah. Um, oh, what did we discard? That was a 50%. I knew that, but I don't know the bottom card. Sorry. Uh, too fast. Um, laser copper. Or... Oh, we don't see what we discarded with the tactician. Uh, oh. Well, it was not really. Great stuff. So I think it, there is an estate. And now we can already get the, the benefit. I mean, now we can play the tactician and buy a five. So let's do estate. Now it's a copper shoot. Okay, it doesn't matter. We would have discarded it, so now it's on top. Okay. And now we just get another tactician. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, we would love to see the Puka, right? Yep. Good. Play. Petition. And now we do the King's Court. I mean, it's not, it's not completely, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I think it's just too slow. It's, it's cool, but it's not effective. Is my my likely uh, summary here? Um, okay. I mean, at some point you can even skip that tactician because you just don't need it. Yeah, and you see that the haunted woods is more effective because it slows them down, and that's the big problem here. We are not slowing the opponent down. So you could replace now the tactician. Or maybe you just play single tactician to get started faster. But I, yeah, looking at this is turn 11. Uh, you, the way our game played out, a tactician, I mean, it's a five that you buy instead of another five, instead of the haunted woods, uh, in the case of the previous game. Um, and it's, the net effect is, is not positive. It's still accelerating your build, but the Haunted Woods is accelerating your build better, is I think my my conclusion here. Um, I mean, we may still, might still be winning, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not effective, even though it feels great to play it like this. Um, so now I think it's King's Court and Poor House, because we are really starting to get thin. Um, but we need a... Uh, we need a grove soon. So we have actions left, right? Yeah, because we king scored the mystic. So we do grove and poor house. I mean, there's no way around poor house, I think, in this uh, 
Okay, yeah, we have to play the king's court on the estate, I think. But we play the poor house first, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Poor house first. Um, mystic. And now, I mean, we ask for the mystic. Yeah? No, copper. Okay, copper. Then the most sensible is probably Puka. Okay, another copper. Okay, this is sad. So we won't see the... Uh, what, what Wasn't it three? I don't know what what did I click? Um, so something went obviously wrong here. Um, we did we didn't we didn't get the copper into our hand. Is that is that right? No, that I I think it's a bug or something. Because uh, here it says plays a mystic again, plays a mystic again, and then it says plays a mystic. But, uh, um, yeah, I think there's some, something wrong. Okay, I mean, this is pure luck. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there was a bug or something. I don't know exactly know what happened. I might be able to reconstruct it. Uh, yeah, if I see the video and, and, and play it back. But right now, it's I think it's too painful for me to work through. So yeah, I play the tactician and we only have one Puka play left on a copper. Uh, yeah, so we have the growth already, right? Yeah. So we get here, I mean, we want four provinces next turn for sure, minimum. So we do KC, KC growth and poor house, I think it is. It's the biggest payload you can do. In the poor house, the, the growth is purely for the buys. So you might even want the mystic over the growth. Because we still have, if we king score the growth, we would still have four buys. Four buys is not enough. So yeah, so yeah. So let's do this and this and even bank a coffer. Yay. Okay, I mean, they have five provinces, so it will still... Oh, this is super sad. Damn it. But we will just trash the copper and be fine. Yeah, okay. One, two. So how much can we generate here? Yeah. We only have the two king's cards, so we can play... Yeah, we have to play the mystic. Uh, yeah. So now we can see if you know if it messes it up again. Uh, okay, I mean I didn't name anything. Why? Ah, oh, sorry. This is so okay. Name names a card. One out of three. So we are naming something now, which is obviously not copper. These are all our coppers. Um, not curse gold. Not estates. Not these. Uh, yeah, there is. I mean another mystic down there, and so we can just ask for mystic. Okay, and the curse. Okay, so let's do. Yeah, so I must have just misclicked earlier. I don't know what exactly happened, but yeah, okay. So now I think, I mean, if we can discard the curse gold with the wind's gift, so I play the. Yeah, we are messed up with our action situation a little bit, right? Because we need to mystic again three times. Yeah. If we want to play all those. Um, so now this is Swarm's Gift. Okay, the flame is cool. That's, oh, well, for us, that 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 was too, yeah, we can't undo because they, they do some trashing, which reveals information. I think for us, the Curse Gold would have been much better because of the poor houses. Uh, discard, now decline, we keep that. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced that's true. Uh, forest is great. 34, and it's not winning this turn for sure. Huh? Uh, yeah, 34 even is this is 24, and then two duchies, this is 6, 18, 28, 31. Yeah, and we would get a curse, so no. So we play the, oh, if we had trashed, 
Yeah, there is still 31, but yeah, whatever. I mean, then we would have two more with the poor houses. So we get one province, I think, one king's court, because we need it for the... I think we even need a copper for the draw with Puka. I think. Yeah, let's do the copper before we forget it. Copper. Uh, I don't want to get too many duchies. I mean, we could do copper Puka again. Um, so it's not the worst. It's really not the worst. Because uh, <laughs> all we have to do is, I mean, one duchy is fine. I think one duchy. And then it could be copper puka and another mystic. And we don't need gross. We have three king's cards. I think that's quite decent. Okay. Oh, another flame. I mean, that's cool um, in a way, but we just don't need it. It's the last turn. So I decline. I don't need that. Okay, they get their duchy and then we just pile, I hope. Uh, yeah. So what is the best thing to do? I mean, the Uka, I don't really want a king's court, so I just played first, I think. And yeah, we want to find the third king's court. And then we can use it on a willow as well. Mystic is a little bit less strong, but more payload. So the only thing we need is uh, 12, 18. Well, we need two provinces and four duchies and an estate. So that is 20. Oh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> Um yeah, I think <clears throat> I think we're not getting that actually. Well maybe 20, 36, 38, it's doable. It's doable. Six is it my counting right? 12 VP 24, four duchies, 36, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we ideally we don't play our our curse gold. Okay, so let's do the yeah, I'm just not playing King's Court, King's Court Puka, because then we uh, we lose a King's Court on the Puka. Okay. Um Poor house, we only play, I think, once we've we've seen the other Puka. I think King's Court, King's Court. I mean, I want to find this other King's Court. So the highest likelihood to manage is with, I mean, we could also play the Mystics first and try to find it and not KC the Mystics. That better. So let's see. The, the willow will not really draw anything. I think we trashed. No, we didn't. We, we still have this one estate and another copper. So actually, the willow is quite good. So we, in this specific setup. Um, so now, yeah, now we just want to find the third king's core. Okay, Grove. And I'll ask for King's Court again now. Because I really want a King's Court again. Yeah, King's Court. Okay, it's the it's the estate. But that's a little bit sad. Um so now I think it's just the growth. Because we will draw anyways with uh is it the growth or is it rather the Mystic now and the, yeah, the, the mystic now, I think, and then the growth later with the last king's court. Yeah. Um, so it was in the state, right? Yeah. Okay. State king's court. Yeah, there we go. Um, three mystics. Yeah, that's all we have. Another poor house is there. So let's do the poor house. Okay. Right. 
copper. So now we, I mean, we triple the, we will get to 30, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah I think we, we will. We need the buys, that's the key point. So we need this. Yeah, yeah. And then another wins gift. I mean, that's all right. Oh, that's actually great. That is awesome. Because now our guys here get more 36. 30. Yeah, now we now we definitely have it. <laughs> but yeah, it's still not, yeah. It's still not a competitive play what we did. Um estate, right? Because if it's not on top, we will draw it. Yeah. Right. Okay. And now I think for 3080 it's exact, right? We have 20, 36, 38. And 37 points. With the curse gold, we have one more. Because we still, yeah, yeah. So end actions, we play the cursed gold just this once. One, two, two, three, four. Oh no, I miscounted. Uh yeah. We we didn't have enough buys, right? Yeah, okay, shoot. Uh yeah. But I mean it was just to demonstrate the the tactician play. So I think we could have survived maybe one more turn, but maybe not. So that means uh, the um, the K seed. What did I K seed? The the willow or something was probably wrong. It needed to be a sacred grove. But then you're not sure to draw everything, so we don't know. Um, but yeah, it was definitely fun to play the the tactician. But yeah, not. Not the way to go here. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.